Hi guys, my name is Fredrik Furwich and um, I'm driving for Audi Sport Team Come to You. Today I will guide you around the Nordschleife. This was for us a very uh, great weekend with two podiums and a fastest race lap. Um, that suited the Audi RS3 LMS very well and uh, therefore I'm very happy to uh, take you around uh, for one lap. So let's start our lap. So here we come at the main straight. So it's important for the last chicane, Hohen Rhein chicane, to have a good exit. So your speed is uh, perfect on the straight. Then um, we will break around 120 meter. It's downhill, so it's a bit earlier braking than normal, easy to lock up. And again, uh, important to hit the apex and, and consequently to have a good exit uh, for the next uh, small straight. Then we go uh, down to a medium fast corner. We break at the end of the, the right road. We hit some uh, curb and then it's important to arrive in the middle of the track. So again, we have a good exit for the corner after, which is down a hill and uh, up to the Dunlop Kere. So it's a kind of a hairpin. And we break at the beginning of the left curb. And here again, it's easy to lock up. The gravel trap is very nearby and exit is important. We can use the exit curb as well. Then we go to the Schumacher S. We can use the curb. Uh, only with new tires, it's um, flat out. Otherwise, it's a small lift. Um, because then you will have too much uh, understeer. Then we break at the end of the road. We hit, uh, we hit the apex at the inside. And here again, very important to have a good exit early on throttle for the next straight um, up to the uh, fast chicane or the motorbike chicane. So this is easy flat. Um, you try to steer as less as possible so to not have any friction. And there we brake at around 100 meter. We use as much curb as we can. And then we have reached the Nordschleife. So here we enter the Nordschleife. Uh, be careful on the exit, the wall is very nearby. And then we have a curb, um, a corner where there is a new asphalt and a lot of uh, grip. So we can carry a lot of speed. Here we have a flat out right kink which is on the limit flat out also only with new tires um, and then we are arriving in at Hudsonbach so it's a sequence of medium speed corners where you take a lot of curb if you don't uh, take curb in real life um, then you will slide a lot because there is a lot of dirt from our cars we try to cut the, the road as much as possible and here we go down up to um, Flugplatz so we have a small straight which is easy flat out. Uh, I have to say it's blind, so that's always a, a challenge. And then here you take as much speed as possible. The car goes uh, mostly a bit in oversteer, so it's always a hot moment. And then we are as quick as possible flat out for the uh, traits that are following. Here you have a little jump, and then you arrive at Schwedenkreuz at uh, around 250. The car goes a bit light and then we brake at the change of tarmac. Here as well it's downhill, a lot of grip, so you can carry a lot of speed. You can use exit curb and then we're going down um, to Fuchshöre. So it's all flat, but with small little turns, try to turn as much as less as possible. Here downhill uh, on the lowest point, the car is very light, uh, like on the left-hander, uh, which sometimes makes it... Um, a bit scary. Then we are arriving in Adno Force, so you take as much curb as possible. Then you pr try to prepare uh, the exit as good as possible. So then we are going to Metzges Field. Here it's a left, very high speed, and again not a lot of space uh, to go wide. Then we are arriving at the um, Diet one, which is important to keep right, uh, keep inside, especially the second corner, the second curb. Here it's a little ch chicane, which is not flat, small lift, car is touching there. And then you have the triple right, which is very quick, try to keep inside. And then we're arriving at the slowest corner of the track, Versailles. And important also your uh, exit, and because there is a straight again. And then we are approaching uh, Breitscheid. This is a, a part 
where um, you can park the car if you have a, a problem here on your right side you can see and um, so yeah because it's such a big track and it's not always easy to to you know um, to to pick up the car then we're arriving at Nikiloda curve so this is flat out um, and then we're approaching at a difficult braking it's quite bumpy and easy to lock up the brakes and it's very important to have uh, a good exit here because you have the longest one of the longest straights of the of the track uh, which is called Kesselchen then you have like three left corners which are easy flat but blind so um, yeah it's not always easy if you have to overtake cars here um, this kink is flat and dry in the rain sometimes but uh, it stays always uh, tricky because it's also a bit bumpy and then we are arriving at uh, one of the quickest corners of the track mood curve so here it's important to be early on throttle it's uphill so it gives you more grip um, than you would expect and this is all flat not so easy but all flat and then we break at curb we are arriving at Stahl Strecke so it means it's very steep up now so we are going we're starting our climb to the highest point of the track here we go at the first carousel breaking at the tree just after the tree important to keep inside and try to go as early as possible on power there's a lot of camber so obviously this gives you more grip and so yeah we're still climbing and then we go into uh, to uh, Ach, sorry and so here this is the highest point of the track uh, also a lot of grip important to be uh, very nearby uh, inside then it's a sequence of quick corners and it's every time important to sacrifice a bit one for the, the other one you use quite a lot of curve it's all for gear and then here uh, uh, so here also it's blind it's easy to go off track here the car very loose try to carry as much carry as much speed as possible then we go and arrive at Brinchen. Always a lot of people there because many accidents happen, and this is mainly because of camber change and uh, a lot of uh, drawings on the track, which makes it slippery. And then we're going into uh, Flans Garden. So again, here important for your exit. Uh, Flans Garden. Yeah, this is a place where the car are airlifted. So after the when you land, then you go for throttle again. We're not flat in, in the air not good for the car and also it could be too quick for the corners after then you have Franz Garden 2 I call it um, also small jump very high speed different bell of S so all 6 gear all flat out and um, yeah and then you have one quick corner before a, a lower speed corner can use a bit more curb here and then you have the second carousel also important to be quite inside uh, it's easy to go out and when you're out it's, it's very easy to go into the barrier then you have the last uh, corner Kalgenkopf it's a very important one very high speed as well for gear and um, to be early on throttle because there is a long long straight and here we are approaching uh, Audi bridge Audi bridge is an important place this is also the beginning of the last sector and this is important uh, for to give some information to your team like I don't know tire pressures or fuel consumption um, so yeah this is six gear the Audi uh, was very strong here um, because of the aerodynamics of the car uh, we have less drag at, uh, at about 200 km per hour and this is where it can make the difference uh, this is a flat uh, out corner We're going to uh, Deer Garden and then you have the on the Rhine chicane, it's always a bit difficult to find a good breaking point because you arrive so quick and the important thing here is to have a good exit. So once you have your exit, it's only flat out till start finish. And yeah, so this was a lap around the Nordschleife. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I did, and hopefully see you soon at the eSports. Okay, bye bye.